my brothers and my sisters, I simply want to encourage you on today with the words of Paul. He states, not that I have already obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that which Christ Jesus took hold of me. So I simply want to encourage you as we begin this day to press on. No matter what we endure, press on. If you're sick in your body, press on. If you have struggles in your home, press on. If you find yourself all alone, press on and keep pressing no matter what comes your way in excellence. So I just simply want to encourage you to keep moving, to keep pressing, because the greater, my brothers and my sisters, is on the way. May we pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come now thanking you for this another day that you have given us. We thank you for being a loving Father. We thank you for being a good God. We thank you for being a creator, a redeemer, and we thank you for loving us in spite of who we are. And right now, Lord, as we acknowledge who we are, we humbly repent for our sins, Lord, and we ask that you create in us a clean heart and renew a steadfast spirit within us, restoring to us the joy of your salvation. Now, Lord, as we come to your throne, we ask you, Lord, to give us focus on today. Give us a mindset to do what you want us to do and not what we want to do. Give us a mindset to be servants, Lord, that are seeking to do what our master wants us to do. But we ask you to bless us in our minds. Bless us in our bodies as we strive to stay focused on moving and serving in excellence. We ask you, Father, to bless every laborer who is heading out into the vineyard on this morning. We ask you to bless every laborer who is already in the vineyard this morning, Lord, and give us all the focus that we need to be loving channels to and for your glory to your people. We ask you, Father, to bless those who are sick. We ask you to bless those who are troubled in their minds. We ask you to bless those who have struggled in their homes. And we ask you, Lord, to be with those who have no homes, Lord. And it is my prayer on today that you hold us all in the palm of your loving hand, letting us know individually and collectively that you love us more than anything, Lord. Lord, creating us, Lord, a mindset to do what is right. Help us to remember that holiness is still the way and help us to understand that you hate sin and Lord, and give us a mind to strive to be all that we can be for your glory and for your honor as we serve. So Lord, as we boldly go out on today, no matter what we are doing, give us a mindset to be examples of Christ. So give us Christ likeness. And give us a Christ focus as we strive to be among the people, Lord. We are in the world, but yet we are not of the world, Lord. So give us a heart to be an example so that people may come running to you asking, what must I do to be saved? We ask you to bless our children. We ask you to be a hedge of protection around them in this cruel world. We ask you to give them focus on you. Give them an ear to hear your voice, Lord, as they go forth. So it is my prayer on today that you be with us all now as we strive to be the best that we can be in this day. So we ask you, Lord, to prepare us, strengthen us, give us focus. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Forever we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. And remember, to press on just a little while longer. God bless you.